Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. You may now be seated. So we have come together into this place which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage to witness the joining in matrimony of Sam and Donna. Sam, what is your full name, please? Samuel Donna. Thank you. And Donna, your full name, please? Donna Thank you. Sam and Donna, I'd like to thank you all for coming to celebrate the beginning of their new life together as husband and wife. It means a great deal to them that you can all be here today to share their happiness and to witness their marriage vows. The purpose of marriage, of course, is that you may always love, care for, and support each other through the joys and through the sorrows of life. Marriage involves making a commitment for life, to developing and maintaining cooperation, friendship, and mutual respect. Indeed, Sam and Donna have found in each other happiness, fulfilment, and love. And as a consequence of this, they now wish to offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows which are sincerely made and faithfully kept. However, if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then they should declare it now. and Donna, before you are joined together in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make to each other. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all of us. And these vows, which unite you as husband and wife, constitute a formal and public declaration of your love for each other. So, I'm now going to ask each of you, in turn, to declare that you yourselves know no lawful reason as to why you may not be joined together in matrimony. So, Sam, would you please repeat after me? I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Samuel Lawrence Brown, May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Donna Marie Plans. To Donna Marie Plans. Thank you. And Donna, if you would do that, please. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Donna Marie Plans. Why I, Donna Marie Plans. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Samuel Lawrence Brown. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, this part of the ceremony, I'd like to invite Gerald Clancy to step forward to give his reading of that. A bow. I will be good. I cannot promise never to be angry. I cannot promise always to be kind. You know what you're taking on, my darling. It's only at the start that love is blind. And yet, I'm still the one you want to be with. And you're the one for me. Of that, I'm sure. You're my closest friend, my favourite person, the lover and the home I've waited for. I cannot promise that I will deserve you. From this day on, I hope to pass that test. I love you, and I want to make you happy. I promise I will do my very best. solemn moment has come for these two people to contract their marriage before you, their closest family, friends and witnesses gathered here today. Sam and Donna, 
gathered about you those whom you love the most to receive their encouragement and support in this very special day. And so, in the presence of this company, Sam, I ask you, will you take Donna to be a lawful wedded wife? Will you love, honour and cherish her? Oh, thank you. And Donna, will you take Sam to be a lawful wedded husband? Will you love, honour and cherish her? Thank you very much. So, would you now turn and face each other? I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Samuel Lawrence Brown. To witness that I, Samuel Lawrence Brown. Do take you, Donna Marie Clancy. Do take you, Donna Marie Clancy. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish for the rest of my life. <coughs> for the rest of my life. Thank you. And Donna, if you would do that. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Donna Marie Clancy, do take you, Samuel Lawrence Brown, to be my lawful wedded husband, to love and to cherish for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we will now listen to the second reading to be given by Anthony Leighton Thomas, the colour of men. This book is like an album of snaps. In any snaps, strangers intrude. The prints preserve an intimacy that lasted only as for a fraction of a second as someone, unnoticed at the time, straight unintentionally into the picture frame. Hidden among the familiar, laughing faces of friends are the glimpse of shapes of strangers. And in the distant homes of tourists, there you are, at the edge of the frame, slightly out of focus, in the midst of other people's memories. We stray into each other's lives. In the course of any day, in any city, it happens thousands of times. And every now and again, it is caught on film. This is what is happening here. Look closely, and maybe there, close to the margin of the page, you will find the hurried glance of your own image. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the exchange of rings, which is the traditional way seen in the contract, Sam and Donna are both men. And so could I please ask the best man, John Foonan, to step forward. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolizes an ending, an everlasting love. It is an outward sign of the lifelong promise that you've both made to each other. And so Sam, would you please repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love and affection. As a token of my love and affection. And of the vows that we have made. Well, the vows that we have made. I promise to love, honour and care for you. I promise to love, honour and care for you. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. Through the good times. Through the good times. And through the troubled times. And through the troubled times. In sickness and in health. <laughs> in sickness and in health. And to be your friend for as long as we both shall live. To be your friend for as long as we both shall live. And to prevent you may support you. And I give you this ring as a token of my 